Pat Priest, the beautiful and incredibly talented star, is globally known for her captivating role in the 60s popular sitcom, The Munsters. But beyond that, she's shown the world throughout her outstanding performances in films that she is the true definition of beauty and brains. But before we get into this video, I've discovered that only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this, which I know you will, kindly consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. A trip down memory lane. Even though having a supportive family played a major role in Pat's life, she never failed to give her mother the credit she deserves. Being raised by a mother who had a knack for acting and creativity made Pat believe in herself even more. Not only was her mother a speech and drama teacher at their local church, but she also encouraged Pat to walk confidently in the craft that she loved. Sadly, Pat stayed in the shadows for a while until one fateful day, her mother brought her to the spotlight by telling Pat to perform a pantomime to a comic record while the performer set up. It was at that moment that Pat realized how much she loved performing and being on stage. Her great performance opened more doors of opportunity as she began to receive offers to perform her skits at Lions Club and Rotary Club events. She was just beginning to enjoy her teenage years when her mom got a job as the treasurer of the United States under Eisenhower. And even though this was clearly an amazing job offer for her family, Pat was the only one who was not rejoicing because she had to move to Washington with her mom. She couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the thought of leaving her high school so abruptly. Leaving Utah meant leaving her friends and hobbies behind. She even admitted in an interview that she thought her life was over. Little did she know that it was only the beginning. Thankfully, her relocation turned out to be a blessing in disguise. From Humble Beginnings Pat rises to stardom. It seemed like Washington was just the right location she needed to flourish. Her mother was now a prominent member of society who could pull strings to get her daughter amazing roles, but Pat decided to work hard to merit every role that she got. It wasn't easy from the onset, but soon enough she began to find platforms where she could showcase her singing and acting talent. Her beginning was indeed humble. Also, having to work hard for her place in the industry made her value every opportunity she got just a little bit more. Her initial performances were singing and acting roles on local TV shows like WTTG Washington, D.C. She also got the opportunity to work in stage productions like The Tinder Trap and Bus Stop. Through these roles, she began to gradually gain the attention and love of her viewers due to her remarkable acting skills. Even though she had not yet gotten the big roles that she wanted, she was willing to pay the price for success. Now, a few years down the line, Pat's remarkable performances led her to the first notable role that skyrocketed her career. Pat as Marilyn Munster in The Munsters. It was as though the opportunity she had been waiting for finally arrived at her doorstep when she got the news she was going to replace Beverly Owens in The Munsters. Her dedication was paying off and she was beyond ready for her new project and what it had to offer. Playing the role of Marilyn Munster was initially a bit challenging for Pat, but she reached within herself and unleashed the genius that she was. Her character was a beautiful blonde treated as the ugliest member of the family, which was made up of a monster, vampire, and werewolf. Now, it was clear that she embodied the role perfectly because she's still fondly referred to as Marilyn Munster by her loyal fans. As the show progressed, Pat continued to acquire international recognition Every episode was an opportunity for her to showcase her incredible talent. However, in 1966, she received terrible news that she was going to be replaced by a much younger actress. Universal Pictures had made a decision to use Debbie Watson for the role of Marilyn Munster in the 66 feature Munster Go Home. Now, even though this was sad news for Pat, she didn't let this blow stop her from working towards creating a memorable career. Unlike Pat, her fans did not take the news of her replacement very well. They expressed anger and rage towards the producers of the movie and used every means necessary to show how much they wanted Pat back on the set of the Munsters. Now, even though their efforts were futile in the end, they still showed their loyalty and support for the iconic actress. Her breakthrough role may have been stripped away, but Pat was determined to prove she was worth better roles in the future. A versatile TV icon over the next few years, Pat was chosen for roles in fantasy sitcoms, mystery fiction, 
comedy films, and a variety of other works. She took on notable roles in the sitcom Bewitched, Perry Mason, and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. One of her prominent roles was the 1967 American musical comedy starring the famous Elvis Presley. She continued to show her versatility and amazing skills in several other films. Horror acts were also not off-limits for Pat, as she was cast for her first horror film, The Incredible Two-Headed Transplant, in 1971. As always, she played her role brilliantly and continued to pave her way in the entertainment industry. She immersed decades of her life into her passion, and even when she was ready to retire, she had no regrets whatsoever. Pat may not have gotten as many roles as other Hollywood actresses, but she appears to be very happy with how her career went. She's colored the world with her gift and shown an example of the level of success that lies on the other side of courage and persistence. Beyond the Screens her medical condition. Life with the cameras, red carpets, events, and the sophistication of Hollywood was great while it lasted, but it had to come to an end. In her late 50s, she made the big decision to retire and spend the rest of her years with her loving family. Little did she know that years down the line, she would be diagnosed with life-threatening cancer. Pat was enjoying her retirement up until 2001 when she began to notice weird pains from Mild fevers to chest pains, it kept getting worse until she decided to seek medical attention. To her great surprise, she was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Now, this was a huge blow for her and her family, but she stayed strong and underwent every medical procedure necessary to recover from her ailment. Like the fighter she's always been, she fought for her life until she finished treatments at St. Luke's Mountain State's Tumor Institute and was later determined to be in remission. Her medical condition sparked rumors about her death, but it has been confirmed that she is very much alive and healthy. In a recent interview, she revealed that she's loving her life and how it turned out. In her words, I've done everything I wanted to do, gone everywhere I wanted to go. I'm 83 now, and whatever happens in the future is all just pluses. She also revealed that she's still a big fan of the Munsters, still to date. Even at an old age, she continues to attend nostalgia conventions and Munsters revivals around the country. Pat has truly lived a fulfilled life, and she's truly unforgettable. So which of these facts about Pat Priest caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below, and check out the next video in this series.